Hi everybody, we're here with this week's crop update. Uh, we just wanted to talk about some of the things that you should be looking at in your corn and soybean crops this time of year. Uh, Dave, do you want to give a little bit of insight on the soybeans? Yeah, so soybeans are uh, coming into their R3, R4 stage right now here in the um, central part of the Corn Belt. Um, this is a critical stage because uh, this is when they're going to really determine their yield. Um, so we're getting nice rains now. Uh, we want to have uh, as the least amount of stress on these beans as possible. So uh, a, a nice fungicide, some foliar fertilizers um, will do a lot of good right now. Um, at my uh, uh, research plot in Walton, Indiana, I just put our uh, foliar fertilizers on last week. So this is the correct time to be putting that stuff on. And what's really important to note with the soybeans going into this stage, as you mentioned, this is the time that yield is determined. Mm -hmm. As opposed to corn, where it's decided earlier in the season, soybeans, as they go into the reproductive stage, that's when they figure out exactly what they're going to yield. And this is the time we want to minimize the stress on the soybean plant yeah. um, to really make sure we can maximize the yield. Yeah, uh, another thing that we're seeing out in the field this now is a lot of weeds that are resistant to both Liberty and the Roundup herbicides. It's too late to apply the uh, Enlist or Dicamba products. Uh, so really the only thing labeled at this time that's, that's going to do any good is uh, going to be a Cobra application, which can really set the beans back and burn them. So if we can apply uh, Phosphix at that same time as our Cobra application, um, we can speed up the recovery time on the soybeans. And like you said, with Cobra, it really burns back the yeah. beans. But really, in that situation, you're picking the lesser of two evils, whether you want burnt beans or beans overcome by weeds. Yeah, the um, weeds will take over because we've still got uh, a good six weeks of growing on the soybeans and or on everything out there. So if, uh, if we just let those weeds go, we, uh, they'll, it'll be a jungle out there. And that's no good for no. your combine or... Or Your the stress. weed bank, honestly, the weed bank will, will just go crazy out there. So, And that's not setting yourself up for success next year. Correct. You'll have a lot of issues with weeds if you can just get them under control mm -hmm. now. You'll, you'll be in a much better position than if you were to wait. On the corn side of things, we're getting into the pollination stage. Um, and some things we want to consider in that stage are really keeping those silks intact. Yeah, so this is weird this year. Normally this happens about... Um, four to six weeks earlier. So like Jess was saying, corn yields usually are set in July. Uh, bean yields are set in August. This year, both are getting set now in August. And so these rains are, they're moneymaker rains that we're having right now. So if we can get, uh, continue to have the rain, rain is gonna be the biggest uh, input right now. If we can keep the rains coming uh, for the next few weeks, we're gonna have a really good uh, crop. Uh, I was just out in the field last week here doing the crop progress report and it was it was pollinating at that time. About um, three quarters of the ear was pollinated uh, when I did the pregnancy test and um, uh, it was coming along, coming along well. Coming and along the well. pregnancy test that you're talking about with the corn, it's when you take that corn plant, you shuck the ear off or shuck the husks off. And you shake the, the silks off, mm -hmm. and then any silk that is still attached has not yet been pollinated. This is another critical time of no stress. This is when we need to be applying our fungicides, and also uh, overpass CF product would be a good one, or uh, um, Super 25B would be, a, uh, would be a nice one. Studies are showing later application of nitrogen at this stage um, uh, helps with pollination and ear set. As well as scouting your field for insects, because if those silks, um, if those insects are eating those silks, mm -hmm. then the pollen can't get to them, and then we aren't going to be able to have pollinated yeah, corn that's, cups. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great uh, um, thing to look at. I'm glad you brought that up. The pollen, uh, silks have to be at least a half an inch long for it to accept the pollen. So if, if your silks are not a half an inch long and you see feeding out there, we need to apply an insecticide right away to uh, control those insects and uh, allow those silks to grow and accept the pollen. Well, that's all we have for you today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out on andersonsplantnutrient.com. Thank you.